Hey guys, this is the True Knight TH30. Much like the TH10, in my opinion, this is a very powerful head torch. I was very impressed with the TH10. Up until that point, I did not have uh, a head torch which was this powerful. I think this tops out at about 860 lumens, which is quite a lot. A simple double click, and you can see everything that's going on around you. Uh, and this is also a beam thrower, so you can also see in the distance. It's a bit heavy, and it uses one 18650 rechargeable battery to have this high output. Now, the TH30 takes that a bit further. This has a maximum output of 3,350 lumens, which is a lot. Also from an 18650 battery. However, this is an IMR18650 battery, not like the other ones. And uh, what this does is uh, it has a high discharge. So that means other regular batteries will not work properly with the TH30. This is the regular one, and this is the IMR the TH30 uses. Now, will this work in the TH30? Yes, it will. It fits because it's the same size and you will have the Firefly mode. I think 0.5 lumens they say, but I think it's a bit brighter. The low mode, medium, high, and of course that omnipresent uh, SOS but you will not have the turbo mode. Now you have a low mode of I think about 30 lumens, uh, uh, the one in the middle is 130, the high is 1275. Now, low is good to just see everything that's around you. Um, the middle one, 150 lumens, that's enough even if you're in the city and it's raining and you have um, light from various sources. Uh, that's enough for you to avoid puddles successfully. That's what I have on my keychain flashlight. It works. A thousand lumens? Now that's enough so you see everything. And what I like about it is through a simple double click, you can get to this turbo mode, which is 3,350 lumens. And since this is not a beam thrower, this disperses the light, you will be able to see everything that's going on around you. Not that this was lacking, just that this is much more powerful. There is a drawback. You are using one 18650 battery, be it uh, an IMR, but you're not gonna be able to get that 3000 plus lumens for an unlimited amount of time. Plus, this is a small package. The first thing that will happen is this will heat up. It won't burn you. Uh, this holder here, which holds the, the, the flashlight on your forehead, is thick enough and I don't think the heat will get to you. Um, just like the TH10, it has the same mount right here and it's just as uncomfortable. Now, if you put this over uh, a beanie or a scarf or something or a baseball cap, you're not going to have any issues with it. But if you put this directly on your skin, you're going to get indentations and um, they can get somewhat uncomfortable. Is that, that the end of the world? No, you can rake something up. But like I said, you won't be able to have this uh, turbo mode forever. The flashlight will start to heat up. I just turned it on a couple of seconds ago and I can feel it's already warm and it will drop down the lumens uh, down to probably the highest mode or maybe a bit lower. Right now it's it's fairly warm. It does have this these huge ridges here, but they do little to enhance the surface. This is a small package and 3000 plus lumens is a lot of light. I'm just gonna turn it off because it is warm. It's warm in here and maybe if you're out in the cold, um, yeah, it's not gonna heat up as fast. But 
it will drop down in lumens. So use it for a few seconds to see what's going on around you. And the question is, do you really need a headlamp which has 3000 plus lumens for three, four hours? I doubt it. If you do, you're not gonna be able to get that out of one 18650 battery. So in my opinion, this is a good compromise. You do have an indicator here. Here, I'm in the lowest mode. Blue means the battery is still good. Once you get to red or flashing red, that means you have about 20, 10%, something like that. And it's time to charge it. When charging, it's gonna light blue when the light is when the battery is fully charged. You can charge this from with a USB micro USB cable from your laptop, from a power bank, or directly from the out from your outlet which I like, it, uh, charging time is not that bad. Uh, from my laptop, it's a small one, uh, I charged it in about, I think it was three, three hours, four hours maybe. Not bad, I would say. Uh, one of the nicest things that I found, well, I didn't find it, that, I, I, uh, that impressed me with this one, because of course you can take it out from uh, from this holder and they provide you with a pocket clip oops now I use my my, my TN12 is by far my most used true night flashlight and that's right now in my car because it was very cold the last few weeks and I wanted to see how it affects the battery but I do tend to use the rechargeable ones now simply because it's more convenient uh, when I do charge the batteries for the first time second time or just want to see them I, I do use my my charger which shows the voltage but other than that I prefer using a USB cable hooking this up to my laptop or a power bank and I will clip something like this to my pocket put it on high mode and uh, just so that I can see at night where I'm going, you know, around the cabin, around the camp. It makes it easier. If you don't want to have something on your head, now this does definitely have that option. You can have this on your head and you can turn it on like that. But it also has another option. This pocket clip, it can be clipped to your pocket. You can carry this inside your pocket, not on your head, and clip it on the outside. Of course, the pocket clip is reversible. You can clip, clip it on this side so you can have it in your pocket. And then when you want to have it on the outside of your pocket so you see where you're going, clip this on the outside of your pocket. A better alternative will be to clip this on your belt because it's going to be much more stable. And I, I think this is a very good idea. I don't know if they envisioned it like that. They probably just thought, Hey, you know, you can clip this to your pocket so you don't lose it or that it doesn't jiggle in your pocket. But clip this on the outside on the outside of your pocket or on your belt and you can see where you're going. Now, is it worth getting something like this, a high, very, very high lumen output for a limited amount of time? Um, and it does use a special battery. Now, if you have a lot of uh, 18650s, IMR, sure. If you don't, if you have the regular 18650s, is it worth getting something like this? Well, the flashlight does come with a battery included. So that's not such a big problem. True Knight has a 24 months replacement warranty. I don't know if it covers a battery, but how expensive is it going to be? I think it boils down to, are you going to need that momentarily 3,000 plus lumens. Um, need, really need, I don't know. If you go out camping a lot in uh, thick wooded areas, I think it might come in very handy. Very, very handy. And this is not, um, like I said, not like the TH10, which does focus the light. This is a beam thrower more than the TH30, which disperses the light. Uh, right now, through the camera, I can see the, the cutting mat, but if I look directly in it, I can't. Very, very bright. Very impressive, I would say. Um, so, yes, the fact that it uses an IMR is a downside, but um, 
you're not going to be using that 3000 plus lumens all the time. And you can also use these batteries, the regular 18650. You're not going to have that uh, 3000 plus lumen mode, the turbo mode, but you are going to have a mode which is uh, more powerful than the TH10. I think, like I said, this one tops out at 860 lumens, and this would be 1,200 lumens. So better than that with a regular 18650. I think it's it's worth it, and you have the option of carrying it with a pocket clip. Something that's hmm, harder to do with this one. Um, so yeah, I've used this for um, a couple of weeks now, playing around. Uh, no problem so far. If you have any questions about the TH30, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. I will add a link so you can see all the lumens, the stats, and whatever Two Nights says about it. Uh, just keep in mind, it's not always going to be as precise as they say. With time, with use, the, the life span of these batteries, I don't really know what it is. I've been using my TN12 since I got it with the same 18650 battery and it still works. Um, no issues with it. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not, uh, I, I really enjoy flashlights playing around with them. I'm not the, the specialist around here, but I do enjoy playing with them. And these were my thoughts, my opinions. If it's really worth the money, the upgrade, I would say, that is up to you. Personally, I like it. And because it, it it's rechargeable, it's better than the TH10, which um, I like. I'm still going to keep. Uh, they're very, very shock resistant. This one has not been tested for that, but the TH10 has been tested, not because I wanted to, but just because it fell down a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I wish you all a great day.